Hello and welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today we are doing three looks, one palette and review with the Jouer Tan Lines palette. From reading their website, it says, a limited edition, well-pressed eyeshadow palette, expertly curated to transition from day to night. Palette comes with fully pigmented matte, shimmer, and luxe foil shades that are easily blendable and crease and fade resistant. This is some interesting claims, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the looks that I create. They are gonna be a bit neutral, let's just be honest. But <laughs> here they are, they're not that long. I'll have some links in the description bar of when they are, and then if you wanna just join me for the review, feel free to do that. So without further ado, here is look number one. All right, well, for look number one, we get me pre-work. So we are going in with Heat Wave and just blending that into the crease and sort of just winging it up. And then I'm using my finger to put Tankini on my lid and a little bit more of Heat Wave underneath my eye. Mascara on, and we're already into look number two. So using Limelight, which is that green, but it really comes up quite yellow on the lid. I'm putting that in my crease and just blending it out, blending. Then using Driftwood, I'm sort of putting that on the outer edge and then bring it into the crease just to deepen up the look. Then using Sure Thing, I'm patting this on with a brush and just creating a nice little shimmer look. <laughs> putting Driftwood underneath the eye and then Sunburst on the inner corner. This is a really nice yellow shimmer and Crossed from Colourpop on the waterline. And here is the final look. All the products I've used will be listed down below if you want to know what mascara and all that sort of stuff is. So going back in the heat wave with the crease, I'm sort of going a bit higher with it this time. I do just, I this shade just kept calling to me and I kept wanting to use it. We're using Limelight again. To be honest, one of the big shades in this palette is why I bought it. And I'm blending it in. I try to sort of deepen it up a bit more by having that heat wave as the backing. And then using Vitamin C, I'm packing this on with a brush just to the inner part of my lid and my inner corner then using tide pool I'm putting this on the rest of my lid and I was pretty surprised I spritz it with Mac fix plus for a bit more of a pigmented build-up the effect is kind of there I realized I still needed a bit more depth in the outer corner so using driftwood again to do that and putting driftwood underneath my eye I think it helped deepen it up a bit I wasn't super stoked with it and I realized let's just try putting it on my finger and I just think the such a drastic difference when you put it on with your finger I'm just using Tide Pool as well I've got that on my finger and tapping that in and you can just see how much more vibrant those shimmers are now going in with limelight and I'm just smoking out that waterline a little bit more and here is the final look okay so we have finished all three looks do let me know what your favorite look was I did have a lot of fun and Let's first touch on this idea of fade resistant, crease resistant. I'm actually coming back to film this review after editing all the footage and just not liking it. But I've been wearing this look for maybe three hours. Um, let me show you what's happened in that time. It's creased, it's faded. If you don't believe me, it's faded. Let's, uh, Let's top up with a little bit more of Tide Pool. Because I feel like that's the easiest way sometimes to see how much something has faded. And vitamin C. That's a pretty big difference. Now, I do have really oily eyelids, so I, I didn't really expect much from them. These foiled shades that are in here feel more like a cream shade than anything. So I've never had a high hopes for them. The first look I showed you is me before work. So I wore that look for 14 hours and it didn't last. And you can sort of see it the most in this shade. It's just very much a cream product. And as much as I love cream products, they do not last in my eyes. I don't think they last in anyone's eye. I think they just look pretty in the pan. Um, I have been working on a way that I approach my reviews of eyeshadow palettes, breaking it down into a list. So first off, I'm going to start talking about blendability. Yes, these blended very nicely, but there's also not that much pigment. And it takes a really long time to build up pigment. You saw me using Limelight on top of the like, heat wave. And it took forever to get it to look the way I want. And the green in Limelight is just a lot more yellow than I thought it was going to be. Like It looks like a bright green there. 
but on the eye and swatched it's a yellow and also the fact that the foil shades they don't work unless you use your finger is crazy i mean yes they do work there is the second look where we managed to create like a nice subtle shimmer but that bang wasn't there and you can see definitely in the third look i tried just going in straight with my brush which i do with most of my shimmers then i spritzed it which i i do do more often than not and still not that well and then finally realizing my finger i went in and you saw that instant bang of pigment that's just crazy to me you shouldn't have to use your fingers with a palette and this is one of the main palettes i think some bomb a bit more but the the change that happens in these shimmers when it goes from brush to finger is the the most dramatic change i've seen in in a shimmer usually if i'm using my finger it will build it up maybe a little bit more but not to that extent so ultimately i'm disappointed the standout shade and that for me is heatwave i actually really enjoyed this i think i've used it in my crease every time it's just a really beautiful peachy matte it's really nice what can i say and um, the neutral mattes in this do are very good but the colorful shades they're just not that good affordability so this goes to 34 dollars us or 48 dollars australian there are other things i would buy instead of this packaging i actually really enjoy i only just realized i could do this and fold it in half but it feels nice and sturdy it's got a nice weight to it the mirror is really nice and i really love the packaging on the outside with the foils wear time as you saw it is not that good so ultimately it comes down to do i recommend this palette no i do not recommend this palette to anyone i <sighs> I don't know what it was. Uh, I think the color story just really drew me in. And there is a part of me that wants to try every single brand. This doesn't put me off from trying Jouer in the future. I'm excited to see what they come out with. And this is a good move in the right direction to some more colors. But I hope they spend some more time perfecting their formula and making sure they're really good. But mm, it's just very disappointing. And I really think the people that this palette appeals to are people who are into neutrals, but also want to maybe venture into color. This palette's just not gonna do it. You're gonna buy it and you're going to want to upgrade to color straight away. You're better off starting off with a Morphe colorful palette and playing with color there where you're not spending a lot of money. And at least you're gonna get like 38 palette, like shades, even if they are the same shade. <laughs> it's just, it's just not worth it. I am glad that I own this. I don't regret buying it. I definitely probably will use this again in the future, but if I had my time again, I wouldn't have bought it. That is how I feel about this. I actually think this is my first purely negative review I've done. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. So I am a bit nervous, and in the first edit of this, I was very about it. So let me know if you've bought tan lines. If you disagree with me and you think it's a fantastic I'd absolutely love to know. Maybe you'll inspire me to enjoy it more. Tell me your secrets. I know everyone keeps saying about adding the glitter glue underneath shimmers. I just, I've never done, like, I have glitter glue, but I've never actually needed or felt like I needed to use it. So I don't think that you should have to use it. But if you enjoy it, using it, definitely go for it. But I think with this kind of formula, it's, you're still going to have a hard time putting them on. I don't know. I am curious to spend some more time spending on glitter glue. I just don't think it would fix this palette, if that's what you're about to tell me. Um, anyway, if you do disagree with me, I'd love to know. If you agree with me, I'd love to know. If you're just watching this because you support my channel and you like watching me, thank you so much. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. You already know that. Anyone stopping by who is new here or hasn't already hit the subscribe button, I'd love it if you'd consider it. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, I'm off. <laughs>